In this lecture, we want to understand how we can highlight the top n values. Now, this could be the top three values, the top seven, or maybe the topmost value. We have given the user a control in G4 where they can choose the number of values that they want to see. If we create a normal column chart, we get this. What is our requirement? We want to identify the top four subcategories here and highlight it in a different color. Now, these numbers would be appliances, we would have fasteners, we would have paper, and we would have, no, not paper, it would be furnishings, and we would have accessories, right? These four bars have to be colored differently. Now, of course, we can do it manually, but like the previous lecture, we want this to happen automatically. Now, this would require a slightly longer formula, but let's um, take it up as a challenge and learn it. The first thing I want to do is to calculate the rank. So I want to find out the rank of C6 in all the different subcategories. And this would give me 17. And if I copy the formula, you notice it gives me a unique rank for each single subcategory. Now, we are not interested in all the ranks. We just want to see the ranks that are equal to or less than the number four. So we will say that if the rank is less than or equal to the number written in G4, then I want to see the value. Otherwise, I want to see a blank. Now think of what will happen. In the first formula, it will check the rank of 1580. So we are checking the rank. It will check whether that rank is less than or equal to 4. That means, is it in the top 4? If it is in the top 4, then I want to show the number. Otherwise, I want to show a blank. This means that it will now only show me the top 4 values. If I make it 1, it shows me the top value. Top 10 will make it the top 10. Very cool, right? Finally, we want to select our chart. Expand this to select the top end. Now, you notice that there is an additional orange bar, but only for those four subcategories that are coming in the top four. Like we did earlier, we will double click. We will make the series overlap 100%, reduce the gap width, right? And just to make it seem a little more prominent, I'll also put a shape outline. Excellent. As you can see, the visual is now telling me that these are my top four subcategories. If I want to see only the top most subcategory, we can put one. If I want to see the top 10, I can put 10. The same idea can be used for the bottom three. It can be used for the average values, maybe the values that are above or below average. The basic premise, if you look at the previous lecture and this one, is that you have to first write a formula that will separate the results that you are interested in in a different column. Once you have two columns with you, then you can create a chart and then you can uh, do a series overlap to highlight the values that you want. The key here is not the chart, but the formula that you're writing. So please make sure to practice this and ensure that you're comfortable with the entire formula so that if you are required to change it, you will be able to do that.